All right, now that we have discussed uh, the idea of how your video should look like, I'm gonna calculate the cost of the video production, shall we? All right, so the video production will be a promotional video that uh, for, your, for your company that sells cigars, as I can see. Um, it will be around one minute and we are gonna need uh, two cameramen uh, as well as a location that we can rent that would also cost you something. And you're probably gonna need some animation for your brand. Okay, we'll add that. Um, and you wanna post it on your website as well as on social media. Okay, so I guess we can calculate that and then that would be a total, wait, $2,000? Is that not good? All right, I'll do it for 1,500. Oh, okay, okay, I'll do it for $1,000. 500? Okay, 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 don't, I, I'll do it for free. I guess that will benefit my portfolio. Good, we have a deal. So, are you wondering how much you should charge for your video work? Well, in this video, I'll be sharing you my experience on how much I charge for my video work. By the way, if you don't know who I am, my name is Bennett Grazer and I create videos here on YouTube. Whether it's reviewing gears or giving you filmmaking tips, my goal is to help you create better videos. So if that's your thing, then I highly suggest you subscribe to my channel. You won't regret it. All right, let's talk about business. If you have done freelance work, you probably came up with the question on how much you should charge for your video work. When I started out making videos, for clients I didn't really know how much I should charge since I didn't have much experience and had no portfolio to show off my work so I often worked for free or charged a small amount which was a lot for me at that time maybe 100 bucks to 300 bucks for a video working for free was no issue for me since I loved creating videos and had a full-time income working as a nurse. As time progressed, I got better and better in filmmaking, the quality of my videos improved, I had more camera equipment available that I invested in, the inquiries from clients increased, and I had a body of work to show. I had so much fun creating videos that I decided to make filmmaking my full-time business. So I reduced my workload as a nurse and started building my own brand and website. By the way, if you wanna check out my website, it will be linked in the video description below. Now, because of the higher demands from clients, I realized that my videos had more value, but I wasn't confident enough to raise my prices. In fact, I still didn't know how to price my video production. So I did some research and created a template for myself and broke down the cost. So what do I charge now? For the camera work, I charge day rates, either half or full day for a full day I charge at least $1,500 that covers eight hours of camera work. I also offer a half day rate which is $1,000 that covers four hours of camera work. The benefit of working with a fixed day rate guarantees a certain amount of money. When you work with hourly rates, the client might book you for just an hour, which is totally not worth it. Now, on top of that, I also charge for pre-production, editing hours, travel expenses, and music licensing. The cost of gear is already included in my camera work. You should know that everyone rates their prices differently. It depends on where you live, what market you're in, who's the client, how much experience you have, and the confidence to step up to a client, giving them your price, 1,500. Oh, okay, okay. Now maybe my pricing might sound expensive, but what most clients don't know is that for a freelance filmmaker, 30% goes to taxes, they pay their own equipment, they don't get any vacation or retirement benefits, and nonetheless, they need to do all the administrative work as well. I always explain to the client why I charge this much by showing them a chart of my cost breakdown, which I had the idea from DSLR Film Guide. If you want to create your own chart, I will leave a link in the video description below. Now it's good to get an idea of what other filmmakers charge, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. Charge what you think is worth your video. 
do a cost breakdown to know your cost minimum and work from there on. Shall we? Now you also need to consider the client's budget. I always ask the client what their budget is. If they don't know their budget, then I show them my rates and create an estimate cost based on their needs. In some cases, I charge less if I think the project is interesting that would also benefit my portfolio or when working with nonprofit organizations. With small to mid-sized company, I usually charge a project fee because businesses like to see the cost from the beginning. This also means that the client has more control over the project. That is why it's important to have a contract because it outlines the expectation for both parties and locks the price to be paid for the service. For me, especially when there is no contract involved, I let the client pay upfront before I start with the video production. I'm lucky to say that I haven't had any issue where a client didn't pay for the service, but it does happen. Now I learned that producing low quality video will hurt my brand image. That's why I always give 200% when creating videos for clients. It's worth spending more time creating quality videos because in the end, it's what makes your brand look good and valuable. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you got something out of this. If you like this video, consider subscribing to get more awesome content like this. Before I leave, let me know what you charge for your videos and let me know in the video description below and I will see you the next time.